Hello, welcome to the Margin Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, Llama 3 is out and it is shattering expectations left and right. Peter, put somebody who's shattered expectations up. So, in this video, I'm going to break down what Llama 3 means for us, uh, what they're planning on doing with it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So let me hit you guys with a brief O, okay? So uh, I'm, <laughs> we, we, we're gonna do a brief O. What is a brief O? Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. Brief O is a brief overview. All right, we brief on right now. So Llama 3 is an open source LLM, right? And what is an open source LLM? Open source LLMs are a type of artificial intelligence model designed to understand, generate, and manipulate human language. These models are considered large because of the vast amounts of data they're trained on, often encompassing a broad spectrum of human knowledge. So, so being an open source means the model's architecture, like the training code and often the pre-trained weights are freely available for anyone to use, modify, and distribute, right? So high availability and low cost foster a collaborative and transparent approach to AI development. So that is a little bit about that. Now let's, let's do a little bit more about a brief O, right? So how do open source LLMs differ from other proprietary LLMs because there is you know, there's various kinds of them, right? So open source LLMs differ from their proprietary counterparts primarily in accessibility and adaptability, right? So like I just mentioned, open source models are freely available for use, modification, and distribution, though. However, there are certain characteristics that, um, you know, encourage a collaborative approach to innovation and allow for customization in specific needs. What are some advantages of LLM? Well, transparency uh it can it and here's another thing too right with with all this ai it also increases public trust in technology uh you know that's what some of the experts are saying all right so uh before i start hitting you guys with these facts when it comes to llama 3 please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button Let's talk about some facts in the Llama 3, right? It introduces four new models based on the Llama 2 architecture, which is available in two sizes, the 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. That's number one, right? Each size offers a base model and instruction tuned version designed to enhance performance in specific tasks. Uh, I believe the instruction tuned version is meant for empowering chatbots that can have a conversation with users. The number of parameters is directly proportional to the size of the training data set, which means the 70B model performs better than its smaller counterpart. Number two, there's this meta thing going on, right? Meta AI, meta AI. I, I, you probably noticed some changes in either your Instagram or Facebook in regards to meta AI. Llama 3 powers meta AI, the company's brand new assistant. The chatbot is available on meta AI on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, for all my island people out there, and Messenger. It's also embedded in the search experience across Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. So if you go on IG right now and you do the little scroll, right? You scroll, you will see the meta AI. AI in the top, okay? Number three, uh, I don't even know what accent that was. Number three, all variants of Llama 3 support a context length of 8,000 tickets, allowing for more extended interactions and more complex input handling compared to many previous models. More tokens mean more content that includes both the input prompt from the users and the response from the model token roughly translates to a word or a subset of a word, right? Now keep this in mind, 8,000 tokens, 8,000 tokens. With 8,000 tokens, users can send larger prompts and expect the model to generate more content in response to them. In comparison, the previous version of Llama supported only 4,096 tokens. So you see the increase there? Huge increase. Number four, Llama 3 models are integrated into the Hugging Face ecosystem, making them readily available for developers. Hugging Face has become the de facto platform for open model providers such as Meta. And uh, Peter, you can put this on the screen, Mess Metatrol to publish their models and data sets. What is message tool? To, let me know in the comment section. So developers and researchers rely on Hugging Face to download these models. This integration with Hugging Face includes tools like 
transformers and inference endpoints facilitating easier adoption and application development. Llama 3 is also available as, you know, a model as a service, you know, model as a Get it together, Mark. Model as a service providers such as Perplexity Labs and Fireworks.ai, as well as cloud provider platforms such as Azure ML and Vertex AI. Uh, number five, alongside with Llama 3 models, Meta has released Llama Guard 2. Guys, don't 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 start hitting us with the llamas now, right? All these AI now, right? And Llama Guard 2, a safety model fine-tuned on the 8B version, designed to improve production, use cases safety and reliability. This, this applies, you know, the required guardrails to ensure that the model adheres to the safety policies that are predefined. Now, number six, the Llama 3 models have shown impressive performance across various benchmarks. The 70 billion model, for instance, outperforms other high profile models like, again, you know, they, they, they fighting out there. OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and Google's Gemini on task, including coding, creative writing, and summarization. You know, because it, it's a fight out there. The war of AI, right? <laughs> Next, number seven, the models were trained on a data set comprising 15 trillion tokens, which is about seven times the size of the data set used for the Llama 2, the previous one. This extensive training has significantly contributed to the model's improved performance, I bet, <laughs> and capabilities they are trained on purpose built gpu clusters recently built by meta uh eight meta is actively developing more capable versions of llama 3 so <laughs> there might be a llama 3.5 llama llama trillion i mean i mean look with few <laughs> it, it has models expected to exceed 400 billion parameters these versions aim to support multiple languages and mod uh, modalities enhancing the model's versatility and applicability across different regions and formats the larger model variant is expected to become available later this year nine meta continues to emphasize its commitment to the open source community by making llama 3 available for free this approach not only fosters innovation but also allows for widespread testing and improvement by developers worldwide worldwide you know, you know, you know, you know, I, I got to mess up sometimes, right? Yeah, I be thinking I'm AI, so I, I guess I have to mess up voluntarily. So interestingly, Meta calls Llama 3 an openly accessible model without calling it an open source model. Number 10 and lastly, Llama 3 models are optimized for hardware from Intel, AMD and NVIDIA. Intel has published a detailed guide on the performance of the model on its uh, gaudy AI accelerators and Exxon CPUs. And Llama 3 marks a significant step forward in the evolution of open models, given Meta's reach and deep partnerships in with you know major industry players. Uh, the model is expected to gain widespread adoption to the upcoming you know in the upcoming months. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.